So I'm going to get right into the story on how I got lost in the 8th grade on a class field trip to Universal Studios, right? The first thing that happened before I, before you even got to the park, a picture of a turkey hitting our window on the way to Universal Studios. A turkey hitting our window on the way to Universal Studios. With that out of the way, and oh yeah, by the way, we had a one hour delay, so that was it. So with that out of the way, let's get right into the story. So we finally get to North Steels after the hour delay of the turkey attack. And you know, everyone's splitting up, going with their friends, yada yada yada. You already know the drill. Everyone we're you know, they gave us too they gave what they gave me too much freedom. Everyone else was responsible. I they gave me way too much freedom. After we split up, everyone went to go get on some rides and stuff and of course I got on some rides with me and my friends. We got on like two, three rides before before the whole incident happened. So we got on two three rides, then we had to meet up on a at a place to get our food, right? Because we had like two meeting points, three meeting points, one of those. I don't know, because I, I only went to two. And I barely got to the second. So we went to go eat, and then me and my friend Nigel, Nigel's one of my friends I was riding with, he was like, well, we came to an agreement to get on the hawk ride, right? Like the hawk ride is like one of the main attractions at Universal. So I, I had, like we had to ride it, you know, like we, we haven't been there before. Now, keep in mind, this is a grad bash night. This, this, this is on a grad bash night. If you don't know what grad bash is, it's where a whole bunch of eighth graders or, or 12th graders go to Universal Studios or to any other park and they just have the time of their lives for a day and then they head back home, right? And everyone has class shirts. So my class shirts were gray and they had a school name, yada, 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 yada. It was some heat. I'm not even gonna fly. It was some heat. We get, we get way inside the line and this, this, this was the first mistake that I made. So we saw a metal detector and we was like, well, they shouldn't say nothing to us. Cause I got, I see, I had these Adidas pants on, right? With the zip up buckets. So I figured, well, we figured, that they weren't gonna say anything if we put all so we go up to the metal detector and they're like um what's that in your pocket so i'm like it's all of our stuff i have zip up pockets so i don't think it's really gonna be that much of a bigger deal it's not really gonna come out right so that was like nah you gotta get a locker for that man and i'm like whoa i'm hit my i'm not gonna like i can't get out of line i'm gonna lose my spot so there i can get back in line and then it was like yeah we'll let you out through this way you come in through this way and you meet back up with your friend right they gave me a ticket before i left they gave me a ticket they said you just take it you can go back in right so my friend left. I said, just like stay there. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find you. We're gonna get us up line. Get on the ride, right? So I leave, and when I went looking for lockers, cause I couldn't find the locker spot. I know where it is now. Okay, I know where it is now. It was right there the whole time. Had the lockers next to it. So I'm an idiot. That that's why I wear glasses. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I saw these two girls. I knew. We are gonna call the two girls, Billy Ray, and Ray Billy. So Billy Ray and Ray Billy, they, I, I knew them. So I was like, you know, I trust them. I'll give them all of our stuff. I, I gave them everything. I gave them, well, except for the money. The money, the money was mine. Uh, I kept the money. So I gave them the phones and I was just like, uh, just hold on to this while we get on the ride and we'll just take it from you when we get back, right? So it was like, all right. And I gave them the, um, they was like, yeah, all right, uh, yeah. So. I gave them the phones and I went back in line and I went through the little spot that they told me to go through. It was a little hard to do because I, I think the lady forgot who I was. We're going we're gonna to call the lady Raquisa, Ra 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 even though she was white. So I should probably call her Rachel. So Rachel, <laughs> so Rachel, um, I think she forgot that I was like getting stuff in my locker, which was not in my locker. So. She was just like, yeah, all right, go to the line. And I went through the line, and we finally met up with my friend Nigel. And, you know, what Like, what could possibly go wrong now? I don't see where this story can go wrong. Here's how it went wrong. <laughs> we get back in the line, I meet up with Nigel, and I lose my ticket. It was, I heard, you, you gotta cut me some slack, though, bro. It was dark. I was, I was, I had the ticket in my hand. I didn't put this on my pockets. I forgot. Don't, don't even, don't even act. Too. I forgot. I just forgot. And I dropped it, and I couldn't find it. So I was just like, bro, just wait here. My dog Rachel is gonna give me a ticket, and I'll be back in line. <laughs> and no time. So, we go down to Rachel. She, uh, she gives me a ticket, right? So she gives me a ticket, and guess, 
just just take a guess on what happened to this ticket. Oh yeah, you're right. You are definitely right. I lost it again. I lost it. And Rachel wasn't there when I got back. Rachel was not there. So they just told me to get out the line. I guess they thought I was lying. They just told me to get out the line. I was like, I just, I just screamed to my friend. I was like, I'm waiting for you out here. Just, we do that whole fiasco and I'm waiting outside. And keep in mind, it was two girls in front of us. Don't know the names. Not going to name them. Freaking the Fast and Furious girls. They had Fast and Furious on the back of their class shirts. So I knew when I see two Fast and Furious girls get off the freaking get off the ride that Nigel is right behind them right oh boy was I wrong because 30 minutes later there was no sign of Nigel the Fast and Furious girls got off the ride and I was like where's Nigel maybe maybe he wanted to get a front row seat and he has to wait a little longer just just a little longer maybe maybe 10 more minutes so I leave and I just walk around looking for someone, someone to find the girls with the phone so I can get them back. Because uh, I went over there and I didn't see them. So I was just like, you know what? Let's go find them. So I left for 10 minutes and I went to go find them. I don't know if they came in because I didn't have a phone. So, you know, it could have been longer. Maybe my phone. I don't know. So, couldn't find no one. But I found these two guys. Two guys we're going to call Jimbo and Jimmy. So Jimbo and Jimmy... Ah, oh, the rascals. They were talking to two girls, right? So, well, no, it was, it, was, it was a lot of girls. But the main focus is on two girls. Let's be real here. Yeah, let's be real here. So, I go over there and I'm like, have y'all seen Nigel? Or have y'all seen, um, freaking Billy Ray and Ray Billy? So, they, they, they were like, uh, nah, bro. But, um... You know, you, you can chill with us. We, we're talking to the, the females right now. So, you know, like, you can chill with us. And I was like, you know what? Well, I'm going to pass. I'm, I'm going to pass. I'm going I'm to go look for Nigel now. Kind of, kind of stranded here. I'm going to look for Nigel now. So I was like, all right, bro. Yeah, do you. You do you. So I was like, okay. You, okay. Okay. All right. So I leave. Back to the um waiting area. And I wait there for another 30 minutes. No sign of Nigel. I give up. I walk away. This, I don't know if this was a mistake or not. I think I should have walked away. Because um, I walked away and I was lost. At this moment, I knew that I was lost in Universe Studios. I knew I was lost. So, this whole time, I'm lost. Again, yeah, yeah, guess what I did? Instead of flagging someone down for help, maybe using someone else's phone to call one of my friends. Guess what I do? I cried. I, I, I cried. I cried. I was walking around crying. Tears was dripping down on my shoes. It, it was bad. I was crying, right? And you can tell I've been crying because I had the little cry dry up tears on my, on my cheeks. I was crying. So I finally come up with this just a great idea to maybe, just maybe, find a shepherd. So, I went up to this police officer, and I was like, oh, hey, sir. But he was talking about a conversation with his friend. I don't know what they were talking about, but it was way more important than me. So, I was like, hey, sir. 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 So, sir, uh, yeah, me over here. Just a, a lost, um, oh, a lost soul. You know, <laughs> I'm not that much of a, of a priority right now. Just finish the conversation. So, they finished their conversation, and um, the guy turned to me and was like, oh, can I help you with anything? And I was like, yeah, you can help me. Okay. Um, I'm lost. I, I'm looking for my chaperone. They have the same shirt as me, and I'm looking for them. I'm lost. Can you help me? He was like, nah, but um, what's the school name? Maybe, maybe I can find it like that. And I said, Pahokee High. Well, middle, middle Senior High. You know, it's one of those names. So, he was like, what's a, a Pahokee? A Pahokee? And I was like, um, yeah, um, I think I see him over there. I'm, I'm just going to go. Because obviously the guy was no help. But he did give me this little bit of information to make me cry just a little bit more. He told me that they were leaving. That all the, like, the schools that was there for Rat Bash were leaving. They were getting ready to leave. And I panicked. I really did. So I ran around frantically 
just um, looking for someone with that last name shirt. And I finally see Thor Chaperone. I hit the freaking Mudderlo. So I go over there and I'm like, oh, thank God I found you guys, bro. I was lost, you know? I was lost. I tell them my story and they were like, all right, just um, wait here with us. Uh, we can go meet up with the group. We're ready to leave. Call them. And I was like, can't call them. The phone's gone. And then I, I, I told them after a little while, I was like, I'm just going to go over here and grab a drink. Because cause keep in mind, I still had money in my dumb, my dumb little brain. Didn't think to, to maybe buy a drink or buy some food. While I was lost, I just thought to cry and, and run around like I was a freaking nine-year-old. And I was, I was 13. So, yeah. Big boy pants. So, I go into the shop. I grab a Sprite. I know it was a Sprite because I the Sprite stayed inside my house for like a month because I didn't drink it. So, <laughs> I um, I go back and they weren't there. Surprise, surprise. They left me. So, I was like, all right. Well, this night just, just gets better and better, doesn't it? It just gets better and better. So, I'm like, no biggie, I found them once, I can find them again. So I, I grab my um, my little, my little sprite, and I run. I run, and I'm, I'm like, oh my god, they, they, they're getting ready to leave, and maybe they thought I found someone. So I'm, I'm running, I'm running, I, I, I start running. I'm like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. And then I finally find another police officer, a different one this time, not freaking Tahuki. Not him. I found another guy. He was like, um, yeah, there it's a lot of students over there, over there by this little gift shop. Go over there and check that out. Maybe they're over there. And I was like, all right, thank you, sir. I'm going to be over there now. So I run over there and thank God it was my class. So I'm like, oh, thank you. Nigel gave him a phone, did that, yada, yada, yada. I told them my story. And then I was like, all right, well, let me just look at my phone here. I had at least 20 missed calls of people trying to find me because they were waiting for me there and they were planning to go and leave me, I think. I think that was the, the final decision if I haven't showed up in like the next 10 minutes. So, we're walking back to the bus and all is going well until I come up with these, like, like you know, you know how like when someone's standing next to you, you kind of like see them out of your corner eye, you know that they're there. So I was walking with this tall guy. I knew he was there. So I'm a corner right. He was with me. We're walking the same way, same school. I had to follow him, you know? So I'm like, let me look at my phone and answer all these messages and stuff about where I am. So people can like not panic and lose their mind maybe. Even though no one really cares about me. Let's be real here. So, um, I, uh, I, I, I messed up on that part. I should have just answered it when I got on the bus or told them in person considering that they were literally feet away from me but you know it's 2017 and 18 i think text messages would work much better than physical contact so i text them and just get you can just guess what happened they, they left me